Deploy a hybrid cloud agent by first registering a standard on-premises cloud control agent as a gateway to Oracle Cloud. This is done with the Enterprise Manager command line interface, EMCLI. First, use EMCLI to display the agents in your site so that you can select which cloud control agent you prefer to use as the gateway. Best practice is to not use the central agent that is installed alongside your Oracle management service. The register hybrid gateway agent command is used to tell cloud control which agents can be used as a gateway to Oracle Cloud. By default, the command will try to ensure that nominated agents are able to connect to the Oracle Cloud services, but will ignore that check. Now that we've registered our hybrid gateway agent, we can use it to deploy a hybrid cloud agent to an Oracle Cloud Service instance. At the same time, we'll define the secure shell connection details for the service. A hybrid gateway agent is a variant of the standard cloud control agent, so we use the add hosts target wizard to deploy it. Entering the IP address of the Oracle Cloud Service instance in the host field is the simplest way to deploy the hybrid cloud agent because we don't have to get entries added to the DNS or make other network configuration changes. However, it does mean that Cloud Control will present a warning because it prefers to use host names rather than IP addresses. But we'll continue as our Oracle Cloud Service instance is not resolvable by name. For the installation base directory, do not specify the Oracle base of your Cloud Service product, as this may be affected by regular maintenance. The instance directory is automatically filled for you. Check the Configure Hybrid Cloud Agent checkbox so you can select a registered hybrid gateway agent to be used to connect to Oracle Cloud. And nominate a port for the gateway proxy process. Or leave the field blank to allow the installer to find and select a free port itself. If you haven't already created SSH named credentials for your Oracle Cloud Service instance, you can create them at the time of deploying the agent. Specify Oracle as the username, then upload the private key files that you use to create your Oracle Cloud Service instance. Give the credentials a suitable name and return to the add hosts wizard. Similarly, you can create root credentials for your Oracle Cloud Service instance by specifying OPC as the username and uploading your private key files. Specify a run privilege of sudo to be run as root. Nominate a free port for the agent, or leave it blank to let the installer find and select a free port itself. Review the inputs and initiate the deployment. After that, your Oracle Cloud Service Instance virtual machine will be listed as a managed host in Cloud Control, and you'll be able to discover the service products that are running there. Alternatively, you can directly discover Oracle Cloud Services using the Cloud REST APIs, and deploy your agents at the same time. The difference between this and the traditional discovery method is that the REST APIs allow Enterprise Manager Cloud Control to present the Cloud Services Management Console within Cloud Control, making Enterprise Manager Cloud Control a true single pane of glass through which to view your IT ecosystem. From the Hybrid Cloud Console, start by registering an Oracle Cloud Identity Domain. and then register an account in that domain, getting the test service URL from the Oracle Cloud Service pages. Add a hybrid cloud gateway from those that you have already registered using EMCLI. Add SSH keys for both normal and privileged access, using existing named credentials, or creating new ones. Now it's time to discover an Oracle Cloud service. Select a service type and an account. For this demonstration, we're going to override the global settings for discovery, making sure the service URL is correct for our database services, and specifying the DBS NMP user's password to use for monitoring. The Discovery Wizard will use the REST APIs registered at the service URL to discover what database instances you have. Even though the REST APIs have allowed Discovery to proceed this far, Enterprise Manager Cloud Control still relies on a hybrid cloud agent running on your service's virtual machine for some functionality, so provide the familiar inputs. 
perform any desired target configuration before reviewing the input data and submitting the discovery job. Once discovered, your instance will be listed on the cloud homepage. From there, you can navigate to your services page, where you'll notice the same look and feel as the native Oracle Cloud interface. You can even open the Oracle Cloud Service Console. Thank you for watching.